do think that the future of offshore drilling in America is still bright. You think that that's still something that they'll be able to use even despite probably the criticism that's going to come out of what happened? Well, there'll be criticism. There's no question when something as disastrous as this, as this happens and as we're speaking, they still haven't stopped the leak. Mm -hmm. And it's very frustrating, and a lot of people are going to uh, have problems as far as those who are shrimpers and, and others that are watermen and people who, who make their living off the water there in the Gulf. Uh, there will be some who are always against offshore drilling anyway, uh, and they'll use this as an excuse to try to stop it. I think the better approach would be let's figure out if, if maybe Norway has the best acoustic sensors on these blowout preventers. If that's the best technology, let's be using the best to, to make sure that our environment is protected while also providing jobs and, and American energy for America's economy. Now, some people are starting to criticize the Obama administration's response. Um, do you think that this is going to be detrimental to his image and what should he have done? Well, I think they should have put all hands on deck. And uh, I'd like to, obviously, the Coast Guard, to some extent, the military, the, our Navy could be involved. I think they should have uh, started right off the bat working with uh, folks who have boats to be putting the booms in there to prevent that oil from coming into the marshes and uh, onto the beaches. And they kind of waited. And there's going to be there's going to be an analysis once this is, is concluded, and the sooner the better, an analysis of the response of the government as well as the response from, from BP and those who are involved in it. At this point, I don't think it, it does a great deal of good to start blaming one or the other. What I think Americans want to see is action to prevent this, this spill from expanding and harming uh, more of the environment and harming people and their livelihoods. And, and once that's done, whenever this gets done, then we're going to look at what was the responses and, and what could, be, could have been done better. And I guarantee you there's going to be a lot of lessons learned uh, from this for, as far as the government's concerned as well as from the private sector. And I know Governor Jindal's downright frustrated with the, the slow response and, and the slow reactions from the federal government in this, but he's, he's doing everything he can in Louisiana to protect uh, the environment and the people in Louisiana.